2018 Nobel Prize in Medicine. James Allison, of U.S., and Tasaki Honjo, of Japan, will share the 9 million Swedish krona, a pound 775000 prize, announced by the Nobel Assembly at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm on 1, October 2018. The scientist's groundbreaking work on the immune system has paved the way for a new class of cancer therapy that are already dramatically changing outcomes for patients. Dr. Allison and Dr. Honjo, working separately, showed in 1990s how certain proteins act as breaks on the immune system's T cells, limiting their ability to attack cancer cells, and that suppressing those proteins could transform the body's ability to fight cancer. Until now, cancer treatment consisted of surgery, radiation and chemotherapy. Their work led to a fourth class of treatment, which includes the immune system. The Nobel Committee highlighted this as an entirely new principle for cancer therapy. Dr. Honjo, 76, is a long-time professor at Kyoto University, where he did his breakthrough work. Previously, he did research at Osaka University the University of Tokyo and the National Institutes of Health in Washington. Dr. Allison, 70, is chairman of immunology at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. He did the work recognized by the Nobel Committee while working the University of California at Berkeley and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. Speaking from New York, where he is attending a cancer conference, Allison said honored and humbled to receive this prestigious recognition. A driving motivation for scientists is simply to push the frontiers of knowledge. I didn't set out to study cancer, but to understand the biology of D-cells, these incredible cells that travel our bodies and work to protect us. Honjo, who began his research after a medical school classmate died from stomach cancer, said I want to continue my research so that this immune therapy will save more cancer patients than ever. The immune system normally seeks out and destroys mutated cells, but cancer finds sophisticated ways to hide from immune attacks. One way is by ramping up breaking mechanisms designed to prevent immune cells from attacking normal tissue. In the 1990s, Allison discovered the first of these built-in breaks, known as checkpoints. Other teams were investigating the potential of enhancing the action of checkpoints to treat autoimmune diseases, but Allison showed that doing the reverse, switching off the brakes could produce remarkable results in treating mice with cancer. Independently, in 1992, Honjo discovered a second checkpoint that worked through a different mechanism and treatments based on this work have produced dramatic improvements to patient outcomes in the clinic. The idea of mobilizing the immune system to tackle cancer was first proposed more than a century ago, but it was only after the discoveries of Allison and Honjo that this tantalizing possibility could be turned into a clinical treatment. The resultant drugs, known as checkpoint inhibitors, have significant side effects, but have been shown to produce remarkable results in treating lung cancer, renal cancer, lymphoma and melanoma. Honjo an avid golfer, said he was once approached at a golf club by a fellow player, who thanked him for the discovery that treated his lung cancer. He told me, thanks to you I can play golf again, Honjo said. That was a blissful moment. A comment like that makes me happier than any prize. Allison, studied a known protein that functions as a break on the immune system. He realized the potential of releasing the break and thereby unleashing the immune cells to attack tumors. He then developed this concept into a new approach for treating patients. Meanwhile Honjo, discovered a different protein on immune cells that also appeared to operate as a break, but with a different mechanism of action. A large number of checkpoint therapy trials are currently underway against most types of cancer. The discoveries had been transformational for understanding the potential of the human immune system to control or even eradicate tumors and blood cancers. A decade ago, metastatic melanoma was largely incurable. The work from Allison and Honjo, patients now have real 